In this video we're going to look at numbering, uh, applying numbering to headings and subheadings in particular. Many people get frustrated with the numbering in Microsoft Word, particularly within large complicated documents, but if you're utilising heading styles it's incredibly easy. In this uh, document uh, in front of us here we are using headings as you can see by just selecting the various headings um, it's being illustrated on the right hand side what level is applied to that particular heading so this document is actually already all set for uh, having a numbering system applied to it in order to do this all you need to do is move up to the multi-level list option which is in the paragraph group and select it and you've got uh, a number of different options in here and several of them are tied in inherently to heading styles. The one that I generally use is the sixth option here. So if I just go ahead and click that, you'll see that the document immediately updates with uh, outline numbering for each um, heading level respectively. So you've got one for a chapter heading and then a 1.1 for a subheading off that and so on and so forth. Over here on the right hand side in the styles pane you can see that the style itself is actually updated as well. The beauty of this is that if you change anything in your document to do with your headings um, the entire document updates uh, and you don't actually have to do anything manually at all. So for example if I change geology from a heading level 3 to a heading level 2 everything cascades down from that change. Similarly, again, if I change it to a heading level uh, 1, you'll see that everything is bumped up uh, one chapter level. There's one more change you might want to make to your chapter um, headings here. Um, some people like to actually proceed the number with the word chapter, so you can actually do that in the multi-level list option. So I'm just going to go back up to the multi-level list, and then I'm going to choose the define new multi-level list option. In here you just need to make sure that you've got the um, top level, so level 1 selected, which we do. Um, it's showing a number 2 here because I um, was uh, clicked on uh, geology at the time, so it's just reflecting the fact that that is the actual number of geology. Uh, we can just ignore that and all I'm going to do is click before the number 2 and then type in the word chapter. Uh, once I've done that, that's all I need to do, say OK, and you'll see that the document has now updated with the word chapter in front, and you'll also see that reflected over in the uh, styles pane. Now I'm actually just doing this within a bog standard document, but for your thesis what you'll want to do is actually set this up in your template. So all you're going to need to do is navigate to your template, go to File, Open, find your template, and then repeat the process. So all I'm going to do to make this more obvious is just turn on the styles pane. I'm going to go back to the multi-level list option, choose the same option, and you'll see that your headings have actually updated on the right hand side. The, uh, the document has now got a one um, within it, so we're in the template at this stage. So if I saved this at the moment, I would always open up a document with heading one as the default. Uh, and therefore I've got a number one present in the document. Um, I'll just adapt this to uh, reflect the change that I made previously, so I'm just going to type in the word uh, chapter here. Say OK again and you'll see it now says chapter one and all we need to do is actually set this back to the normal style, so if I just click on that before I save that's uh, that sorted that out and next time you open a document it will just be the same as opening up any other document you won't have any text in there at all. So I can now just close that document down and you're all set.